All right, uh, good evening. This is Luke Thomas, QuickPredictions.com here at the Earthquake Channel. It is 8.13 in the evening on November 27th, Friday, November 27th. And we're gonna give you an update of the earthquake uh, forecast around the world. We're very, very excited with our new forecast uh, model. It is working very well. And uh, some of the maps might not be online now from the uh, previous forecast, but we have all the brand new forecasts around the world. We're gonna start with uh, how we did on our last forecast. Uh, we uh, had 85% risk across uh, Nicaragua, the southwest portion, and there was a 4.7 there. Uh, we had high risk uh, west of Alaska, west, west of Anchorage in Alaska, and a 4.5 hit there. And we were forecasting a significant earthquake in the uh, Salton Sea area, and exactly as forecast, a 3.6 earthquake hit there. And before we get started on the other forecast, I want to thank you to the 144,000 followers on Twitter and Facebook. You guys are the ones that keep us going here. Thank you so much. <clears throat> All right, let's look at the uh, California earthquake forecast. And again, you can look at these at quickprediction.com and uh, follow along if you want. Uh, the forecast in California, during the next 36 hours or so, we're uh, looking at a, a significant earthquake. It's a strong earthquake northwest of Los Angeles from uh, Santa Maria and Santa Barbara and up along the Garlock Fault toward Ridgecrest, something along that area. We already had a 2.6 exactly in the 98% risk area uh, out there on um, northwest of Santa Barbara and uh, south of Santa Maria. So we're getting some foreshocks already, expecting that one more likely tomorrow on the uh, 28th. And watch for that. And then uh, a very strong earthquake should hit north of uh, Anchorage on the 29th or 30th. So look for that. Mark that on your calendar. The north north of Anchorage on the 29th or 30th and moderate risk in southern Italy moderate risk in western Greece and in Japan during the next 36 hours a moderate risk in the northeast and in the far south and uh, looks like about a about a 5.0 earthquake is going to hit in western Guatemala and far far southeast Mexico during the next uh, 36 hours and in Peru and Ecuador, we have a moderate risk in southern Peru and moderate risk in northern Ecuador. Um, it looks like a, a, a very high risk in uh, eastern Cuba. Uh, you can look at the Puerto Rico forecast for that. It looks a high risk in uh, eastern Puerto Rico during the next uh, couple days. And a 5.0 earthquake is likely west of Jakarta, Indonesia on the 28th or 29th. And moderate risk in uh, the southern islands of Japan on the Taiwan forecast. And uh, moderate risk, uh, risk in the southwest Oregon during the next 24 hours or so. And uh, on the 29th and 30th, a moderate risk in Syria, east of Cyprus and south of... Uh, you can get the uh, Turkey earthquake forecast by clicking on the Cyprus forecast. So uh, once again, we're very excited about the uh, earthquake forecast. We've uh, been working on this for 15 years, and the forecasts are, it's, this new model is just absolutely <laughs> amazing. So uh, be sure to follow along and subscribe at uh, quakeprediction.com at the YouTube channel there. And we will keep you updated, and uh, during our next uh, YouTube, we'll let you know uh, which quakes hit in which of those hot spots. And uh, once again, thank you so much. And we'll talk to you after the earthquakes. Again, this is Luke Thomas, QuickPredictions.com.